This is my letter to the world that never wrote to me. The simple news that nature told with tender majesty. I think Emily Dickinson's a little bit of an outlaw, both in her literal life, in her biographical life, but also in her poetry. She was a female Prometheus. She was all powerful. I think she's a terrifying force. I really think she is a terrifying force. The poetry is so sublime, I think she's America's greatest poet, and she should be read. If you were coming in the fall, I'd brush the summer by, with half a smile and half a spurn, as housewives do a fly. How can a poet write almost 1,800 poems? How can someone do that? And I thought, she tends poems the way she tends flowers. And so what we feel in her work is the absolutely uncompromising process of an artist living in the making. I have the sense that Dickinson simply lived and breathed poetry. I'm not sure there were particular kinds of inspiration apart from life itself. She talks about religion and belief and non-belief. She speaks to a, a deep emotion. Her God is a God of nature. It's not a God of the church, necessarily. And she talks about that in her poetry. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality.